Hello and welcome back everyone. I'm Sacred Sage and I hope you guys are having a good day. Today I'm going to be talking about lighting in Unreal Engine 5. As a reminder, if this video helps you, consider hitting the subscribe button, maybe liking or leaving a comment. I'd really appreciate that. So with that out of the way, let me show you what I've learned. Alright, first thing you have to know how to do is actually make the light. So, I got my little place actors here. If you do not have this window, you can go up to window and place actors. Then from that, this will be your, probably your uh, defaults or basics or, or whatnot. You can just click on lights. You got direction light, point light, spotlight, rec light, skylight, whole bunch of lights. So in this scene, I have all point lights. So all these are point lights. Directional lights, I, I have some outside of the place, but I'm not focused on that. I'm focused on the settings and the overall on the interior. So let's go ahead and click on a light. <clears throat> I got this light right here, which is a static. This one over here is, well, it's a static as well. So basic, and this one's movable. So basically how this works out is you got movable, static, and stationaries. So movables, you can move, you can change, you can do whatever you need to do, and it's fine. Now, a static, you cannot change anything. Once the light is built, you cannot change anything. If you change anything, you have to rebuild the lighting. Rebuilding the lighting takes quite a bit of time. So it's kind of like you're, I'm done with this whole area. I'll build the lighting so my performance is better because the performance on static is so much better than movable. In fact, when I moved my lightings from movable to static, my FPS actually doubled. So I was running around in here at about maybe like 25, 30 frames per second. Now I'm running about 45-ish, 50 in some areas and, 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 and whatnot. So keep that in mind. If you only have a couple of lights, you can keep them as movable. It's not, a, it's not too big of a deal. But if you have a lot of lights like this one, you'll have to end up making them static. Now, how do you make them static? Well, once they are selected like this, you can see the lighting change because it's now static and not movable. You will have to go to tools. Oh, sorry, my bad. Build and then build lighting only. And it's as simple as that. You'll have a pop-up menu saying this needs access. You just click yes. And it's a program that runs in, your, in the background and it will export the lighting and then re-import it back in after it's done doing its thing. And it does pretty nice. Now, if you jump into it and you hit your play button and you're like, wait a minute, everything is dark. My lights are not working. Don't worry. I came across that issue and what, all I did was I went to project settings and then right here I typed in lumen. Now, in the lumen, you will have this right here, reflections. And all I did was change it to uh, screen space versus lumens. Now I got it set as lumens in this project because, well, it just works. So, and I don't even think you probably just get away with just loom right here. This is the one. Sorry. I didn't mean reflections. I meant global illumination. So I got it as screen space beta and the lights work perfectly. I believe mine was lumen, which is the starting out. So that was the reason why my static lighting and my um, baked lighting was not working is because of that. And I just switched that over and bam, it started working. Yay. So that is how you build your lighting and change it from movable to static. Now the stationary, the only difference between stationary and static is when you have stationary, you can still change the settings. You just can't move them. Right here in the settings, it, it, it tells you that you can still mess with the shadows. It just can't be moved. So let's go into some of these other settings. So I have this light right here, which is a static. Let me find a movable light. Here's a movable light. So we'll go over here. So the first thing to note is temperature. I mess with the temperature. I have background in lighting in the DAS studio, so temperature is kind of a big deal. So what I did to get this lighting is I took an orangish color, not too orange, just kind of orange, and I added just a hint more orange. So I didn't need a dark orange color, but there's so many different ways to light. You as the creator 
we'll find and see what looks pleasant and what you want. This is just what I felt comfortable and what I like to look at when I walk into this ale house. So if you change this to, let's say, 10,000, which is the spectrum of the temperature goes from 0 to 10,000, you'll notice it gets white because it's getting closer to the blue spectrum. The 10,000 is the blue spectrum. Now, if we go down to, let's say, 1, which is the red spectrum, you can see the, the red is shining a whole lot deeper. So that is why I went with the 3500. I didn't even need to keep this as orange. It's just something that I prefer. See, because with a white, which is about what I'd start out with, with a temperature of 3500, this would be the, the color I'd get. And I was just like, nah. So I started tweaking with the color instead. So that is one setting that I, I changed. Another setting that I use is, where you at? Right here, intensity. So right now it's at one CD, but you can jack that up, boom, and it gets really, really bright, depending on what you're going for. Like realistically, there is no possible way a candle will put that light. But let's say you're doing a cinematics and you kind of want to glow or whatnot, that's kind of like off to the side or whatnot. This can come in a lot, a lot of help. Uh, this will be very handy. Let's just put it that way. <clears throat> but for just roaming around, bam, this is good for me. The other setting that I use is this radius. So this radius dictates how far this light will go. You can see, whoop, let me zoom out. This circle is the boundaries of this light. So this light will light up in that area. Now, you can see right here when it's max, it's very bright right here. So let's take this down to what it's supposed to be. And let's increase this to, let's say, 600. And as you can tell, it goes way out here now. Now let's crank this intensity up. You see how much farther it's going out now? So that's what the radius does. It, it, it dictates how far that can go. And those re are really the only settings that I mess with to light this interior. This interior is fully lit with just those settings. Temperature, uh, lighting color, the intensity, I think I actually brought it down. I don't know what the original one is. Let's see. The original was 8. So, yeah, I brought that down. So, I, I got this lighting with just temperature, lowering the intensity, and changing the radius and the color. And I came up with this lighting in this ale house. And that's pretty much it. I will go into more details on some of the other lights once I get to them. Now, a, a rec light is basically just a rectangle light instead of a point light, which all the light's coming from a point, all the light will be coming from a rectangle. Think of it kind of like maybe like a camera. When you're when the camera's facing you, that whole front area would be a light instead. So it's just a rectangle light. You can actually bring it in here and you can see it. You can see how it has a sharp edge because it's just, all it is is a rectangle. And you can change the size of it so you can make it whoop, oops move it up change the uh oh i probably yeah that's why stationary couldn't move it nope something to, it's something to mess with so i've not messed with the 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 rec light i'm not sure why i couldn't increase the size it might have been increasing the um the actual light size not the actual um light so the spotlight and the rec light, the spotlight is just whoo, like what you would think it'd be. It's a spotlight. So you're on stage, bam. The closer you're in, the more light will hit a certain area. There's just so many different ways that you can mess with the lighting and try and get what you want. A directional light is kind of like for the outside. Let me take you outside. So right here, I have a directional light smashing against this. That's the direction I got. You can see the little arrow from which it is going. It's going in whoop, this direction. So as I learn more, I will make more videos on it. I just kind of went into the point light system. So hope this I hope this video helped. If it did, you know what to do, guys. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.